Attorney, but I also own a channel, a television channel. You're gonna be on TV today, you know? You're gonna be on TV. Make sure you're looking good, you know. Make sure your uniform nice and everything. The woman who is here today is a big, 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 big person in the music industry. Big. When I say big, I mean big. Say big. Big. Bigger than that. Big. Industry. And you know what is great about her? She went to the school right here. Yeah. Right here. And she went on to be so super successful in her craft. Right? Super successful through a lot of hard work. She became the publicist to a number of big artists. You understand? Who in this place know uh, 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 of a lady named, um, let me see what's her name again, um, Beyonce? Yeah! How I know you know her? Well, you see this lady I'm about to introduce? She and Beyonce tight, tight, tight. When I say tight, I mean real tight. I said, yeah, it's true. So this woman I'm about to introduce deserves all of your voice, your vocals, all of your clapping, all of your hand in the air. She deserves everything because she belongs to you. And she, like all of us, loves you. And she is here to inspire you to greatness. Ladies and gentlemen of RC, let me hear some noise for Yvette Noel Show. your principal, to all the school administrators, to all of the students, especially the little, little ones. Uh, I am so happy to be home and to be in St. Andrews and to be in Grenville and to be right here at RC. I knew very, very early, probably around the age of seven, that I was very, very good with words. Very good with words. I love to read. I read in the church. Uh, but I really just loved words. I loved to talk. I got in a lot of trouble for talking. <laughs> I was always the girl that the teacher had to say shh to in the class. I get paid to talk now. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it works out. But uh, I knew from here uh, that I wanted to be a writer, uh, that I wanted to be a journalist at some point. A journalist is a person that writes a story that's published in the newspaper. There's also journalists who are on television. Uh, but I wanted to be a writer that published in a, in a newspaper. And then I became an editor of a magazine, uh, a magazine that really actually uh, talked about uh, musicians and young black musicians. Uh, you weren't born yet, but at one point I was covering a very, very young musician called Michael Jackson. <laughs> which is very strange and a group called uh, uh, New Edition and all of that and then I, uh, I left there and went to a record label and that's when I met uh, a group called Destiny's Child and out of Destiny's Child came uh, Beyonce and it's been a, a journey. Uh, you're, you're very, very young but she was 14 when I started working with her so just a little bit older than you. Is the oldest person here probably 11? Yeah, 11. Yeah, but um, I was born in Birch Grove. Um, is there anybody from Birch Grove here? Okay, awesome. So, okay, so for those, I don't, I really don't know how children get to school now. I would imagine they take those buses, right? So this is this is how long ago I came to uh, RC. So when I was a student here, uh, my grandfather insisted that we came to school in the big town of Brenville. <laughs> and so uh, they would, they, I was very, very small. I was small for a long time. Even when I was 11, I was really, really short. And uh, so those of you that think you're small, don't worry. Time will come and you will grow. But uh, they would put me on the bus. It was a wooden bus. Uh, I'm sure the principal may not even remember. <laughs> 
but they were wooden buses. It's not like the buses that you get on now, and we would be dropped off over there and come down to school. And I learned some really important things about hard work pays off. Johnny's bus, Mr. Johnny's bus. I was, I used to sleep. They used to have to wake me up when I get here. But what I learned here is hard work, kindness, kindness towards others, and how to praise God. You're never too young to get down on your knees and, and, and say to God how grateful you are for your life, for your parents' life, for your grandparents, for everything you do. So I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. I'm not. I know what time this is. It's almost recess, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just grateful that I had the opportunity to come here. I'm always delighted to see that uniform. But thank you so much for having me here this morning. I'm so grateful. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Pure Grenada, the spice of the Caribbean. Congratulations, Thank you. You're doing Thank it. You're making you. us proud. I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you. you. And you guys doing it. Thank you so We're much. Trying. Well, it's because of our love we have for you and the country and the country. And this is the spice. It's the spice. You can't stay away from the spice. Cannot stay away from the spice. But Pierre, we look like you're getting young now. Yeah, I know. What, 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 what is going on here? Yeah, I spent time in, in the gym a bit. Okay. And then I don't yeah, want it's a good the, thing. you guys to be the one enjoying the one, I guess. Ah, right, right. We don't want that either. We don't want that either. You look fantastic. Yeah, I'm yes. working, I'm working. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Yesterday well, we, we celebrated my mom's 97 birthday. 97? Wow. Yeah, it's Sandals last wow. night. Wow. Yeah. What a she momentous occasion. So me, my brother, and my sister was there. So. Lovely. And she's somebody who's always at the beach. So. I love mm. that. You love the beach, so. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do much as much now, but I go gym. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. You gym a lot. Every day? Yeah, every day, literally. You can see it, man. Literally, it. every day. Very good. That's fantastic. Very so, good. Well, well we, we are so appreciative. Yeah. We know that your schedule yes. is extraordinarily busy. Yes. But I have to. I thank you. No, no, no. I thank you. Yeah. I said. You guys are in the country. I look places. Yes. Like, yeah, look, I see. You guys all over the place. So you're seeing it? Yeah, yeah I mean. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had the name of the country that time. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. right. And that's what's positive about it. So Indeed. Whenever Indeed. we have people of Grenadians who have succeeded. Yes. It lifts the country. Yes, yes. Yeah. indeed. Mr. Peter's mind. success Your today heart. is all over the world. Correct. Um, Kearney James, Lily Shea, and yeah. some of our artists like yes. um, okay. um, Mr. Killer. Killer. Yeah. Right, Mr. Guys Killer, who we supported. The country. Yeah. Yes. Promoting the country in every respect. So, indeed. We are proud of you guys. Thank you. Keep Thank the flag you. Away, we will. We yes. will. I mean, there there is so much to talk to you about, yes. but we know your time is pressed. Yes, yes. Um, but I do yes. want to tell you that yes. Yvette is, yes. is uh, an amazing contributor to everything yes. Grenada. And uh, Tempo, as you know, is everything Caribbean yes, yes. and Grenada for me personally is like my second home. Yes. My mom said to me yesterday on a call, she said, listen, I hope you're doing what you have to do for Grenada, you know, because I love that place. I don't want you to use the stick. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know how that goes, right? Yeah, that but we've, we've had the, the fortunate uh, circumstance mm -hmm. of going and visit Yvette's old school up in, in St. Joseph's Convent Grenville yeah. yesterday. Yeah. 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 And okay. girls' school. Well, it's now called RC School. Right. When yeah. I was there, it was RC Girls School. Oh, uh, yeah. was RC Girls School? Yes, it was only girls. Yeah, it was only girls when I was a student there. Interesting. And then it changed. Yeah. yeah, changed maybe two years before I left, but I was already at convent. Oh, oh the kids yeah. must have been. Oh, they were. They were. Well, they I were mean, so excited. They were. They were incredible. And I, I you know, it's funny because I was saying to Patricia at GTA mm -hmm. that when it's all said and done, a great island. Yes. attributes to its people That's and exactly. it starts yes. with the children and the kids are so polite beautiful. and beautiful I mean I just I saw when I went to St. Joseph's convent Grenville mm -hmm. however amount of girls were in that room 200 300 whatever yeah. I went right back to seeing myself in that yeah. school yes. Yes. and you know just everything you're taught to see all those years later I went back 43 years wow. later 43 <laughs> okay. years later and those girls looked like me looked the ribbon like the, and yes. the kindness yes. you know yes. so I think it, it's um Was it you the know, same uniform same uniform except they changed the tie to no, a striped no, tie no, and no. my tie was made out of the leftover fabric okay. of my skirt <laughs> And I told them that I said yeah. you just save a pleat for the tie, yeah, yeah, but um, mm. it felt good. I felt the presence of mm. every mm. ancestor in that room. And you speak to them. I about, spoke to them. Oh, they were so inspired. Yes. They were so yeah. inspired. You know, it's, just about yeah. being themselves, being proud yes. uh, of where they're from, and knowing that the dream yeah. is not yeah. deterred yeah. by the size of the country. That's it right. actually makes That's your right. dream bigger. That's right. You know, so and and the dream doesn't have nice. to be deferred either. Because no, ever. It's right Ever. Yeah, and the, the dreams the don't have expiration dates. That's I'm exactly like that. right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so it's all good. All good. Thank you so much. Thank okay. You for and your and time. let me congratulate Thank you honestly you. on your leadership. It's it's really extraordinary. Try my best. No, 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 no. no you don't no, try. You, you do. Try. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you take it from a man who yes. moves in our own region. You know that. And uh, so I see a lot. And um, I will say that the job that you do here is beyond. Um, extraordinary um, what you do for the country your passion for the country and and most importantly you sort of stay on focus you know your debt forgiveness program I think is now legendary you know that's something that people could look at uh, the rest of the region can look at and pattern um, you know what what we're doing with uh, what I say we because I feel like I'm getting it too. <laughs> With the something for everyone campaign that's now coming out of tourism, right? Which 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 really looks at regional tourism, which is eighteen percent of your tourist arrivals, in a serious way and marketing. It's brilliant. It's really brilliant. And um, that is something country that people have a lot to do. With yes, because, because no matter what how much leadership you provide, if you didn't get buy in, well, that's true too. I go with that we want to be some stability in the country. Yes. yes. But I think you are. Yes. I think you're an amazing example for young people. Yeah, there is there is a thing around the world, whether it's in the Caribbean, whether it's in Africa, but wherever there are black and brown people, I think there's still that stigma that if you're if you're smart, you're not cool. You can't hang out with the rest. And I think when the leadership is smart and cool and cool, <laughs> but when your leader when your leader is cool, when education is pushed, when children understand that it's okay to be smart I think I, I think it says a lot about the country and yeah I, I'll make one last point uh, a good leader has great people around them too. exactly and it's key yeah. and uh, you have that's what well, I said next day yes 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 absolutely absolutely so so you listen you have you put great people around you I've been um <clears throat> I've been talking to Minister Cox. Yes, yes. Sorry, I got a problem. He's a good guy. He's a solid guy. Solid guy. Yeah, solid guy. I will say that the folks in your administration have been some of the best folks that I've dealt with across the region. Uh, Minister Modest, we, we speak. Uh, she is amazing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So again, it's an address. It's an address. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Big parish. I don't know. <laughs> so listen, my friend, you have the formula. You're good man. Nice. And nice to see you again. I hope to see you again soon. Your share, man. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a terrific day. And listen, the last thing I will tell you is Roy and Bihari. Yes. 
Excellent. You know, like full of life, full of life, full of life, full of life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Most ladies and gent. Huh? You could show me the best things in Grenada, and I will still tell you. It's the people from the idea. Prime Minister on down to the little school children. That's sure right. So I'm what you call a, I'm, I'm what you call a freelance tour guide. Right? So basically, I, I give them ideas as to where they can go off the island. Yeah. I have been noted by GT as one of the best on the island. So based on my performance, you would rate me as that. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. see for yourself. So you've yeah? set the expectation, and now no, we're ready I, to see. I'm, I'm, very, I'm, a, I'm a very humble, I'm a very humble young man. So I do what is right. Yeah. Okay. I do things with the Almighty above. Yeah. Okay. These guys, my footsteps all the time. Oh, I love it. You're talking our language. No, that's my language. Okay. Our, our language. Our, our language, language, man. Our language. Yeah. yeah so we where with where are you from in Grenada? In Grenada, I'm actually from the rainforest side, the, the Annandale. Annandale. Yeah. So we've been going through the Annandale waterfall. That's one of the stops. Oh, I love it. So what I do as well, I give you the real Grenadian, yeah? So this is a real Grenada style of tour, touring Grenada, not the so-called things you read in the books or computers. Right. It's what you actually experience of people's lifestyles, how we live here, awesome. how we do things, how we go to work every day. Again, again, let me uh, formally welcome you again to the Isle of Grenada, Isle of Spice, where everything is nice. We do twice Isle of Spice. So as we, I was told by Charmaine and other colleagues as well, try to give as best as I can for time given. Yes, indeed. So first time for anybody to Grenada, or I know you've been here before. I've been here a million times. A million before, times before, yes. I come right, home. Right, I come right, home right. often. I just yeah. don't do enough of the uh, sightseeing. Sightseeing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so I do. I do history into reality of what things were before. So I'm gonna take you through some of the rural areas of the island as well to see some lo lovely view shots from the top. A place called the Carnage. So I think there's a Carnage in Jamaica as well. There's a carinage in several islands. Several actually. islands. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago as well. But the best carinage is in Grenada. Is in Grenada. Is well, it? of course. <laughs> no, but, but factually speaking, it's a, one of the most victorious. It's the most pic victorious one. It is one in the Caribbean. Yeah, it's it's the carinage. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why it's been featured in many magazines as well. One of the best. There's so many different views. You can get different shots from different sites of the carinage. So it means when the boat comes to careen or to clean. That's what it means. It's a French word. But you know, he had said something interesting uh, a minute ago, and uh, that is something that Tempo has been trying to address, and that is um, Caribbean people really enjoying the blessing of being born, uh, born in the, this extraordinary part of the world. Yeah. Um, you know, we we hardly take in. We might go to the beach every now and then, True that. but we hardly take in our this blessing exactly. of what tourists, 40 million of them, take in yeah, every, every year. Every single time. Yeah, that they, they save up and spend their money, or if they're wealthy, That's they right. come down, and, and they enjoy the island in a particular way that we don't tend to enjoy. And um, we uh, want really to enjoy this. our island. Oh my god, down! So this is basically known as the Karana, the view from the top. And of course, historically, all the buildings here were built from the brick from England. So here it's called a ballast drum. So the brick, of course, of all the front of the buildings were built from brick from England, English bricks. So that's why it's known as ballast ground before, before it's called the Carinage. Is that orange top the cathedral? Cathedral, yeah. yes, to the right side. That's the Roman Catholic, built back in 1818. But all the churches that you see, they were built in the 18th century. So if you want to go to the... Churches. Yes, all of them. So if you want so to start Catholic. with the first one to the far left side, that's called a Presbyterian church, built back in 1831, into the tree, by the Freemasons of Scotland, the Freemasons of Scotland. And you have also the other one with the cream tower. It's the English Anglican Church built in 1825, and the Roman Catholic the cathedral there was built like in 1818. All on what you call but church the, the, street. So the Anglican is the one with the red top, with the kind of reddish top, yes. Okay, yeah. and then the, and the, the orange, orange one, one is, is the, the actual Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. Right. Okay, all right. So that had to be redone after, after Ivan. Ivan. Yes, yeah, that's correct. Roman really Catholic. Well, well, so, so. I, I, mean, I don't know how true it is, but my family says that Ivan was the devil because a lot of the churches, <laughs> churches got destroyed. Really? That's oh, true. That's true. Ivan the terrible. Ninety yeah. percent of churches around Grenada were destroyed because based on the roof designs, they were designed. You have bigger eaves. You see longer eaves. 
yeah. were designed whereby the trucking shops were implemented in those days. That's why the church lost rooftops. Yeah. Unless let's see about Grenada as well. It's the narrow roads we have. Narrow yeah. roads. Volcanic by nature, of Man, course. If you could drive in Grenada, you, you drive anywhere drive in the world. Anywhere. So this is basically, in a sense, all of these streets here were aligned with cobbler stones before they were cemented, of course, and then paved or also with asphalt or bitumen. Just for history reasons, I go back in time to show me how things were. This was a main street in the city up until 1894 of all the trafficking of the donkey carts and horses coming to the city of St. George were coming down the street of the Church Street, down on the Market Hill. This is famous Market Hill. Oh gosh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, so you can you imagine coming along here with horse and carriages going whoa whoa oh, you know what I time. remember wow mm -hmm. job job coming down here right yes that's let's right let's do it right. let's do it <laughs> job the job oh, here the we go so it's known as the San Francisco <laughs> hill to some people right San Francisco obviously has these types of that's hills. right yeah so okay. so coming down here in 1894 horses lost their footing of course and the carriages lost the weights we look yes, behind, yes, so yes. that's why it was built, or the tunnel was built on the other side, called the Sendel Tunnel. Yes. We were like in 1894. And this used to be that the tunnel was built in 1894? 1894 by wow. the Sendel. Annandale, which means the valley in translation. Okay. So it's one of the most visited areas in Grenada by locals as well as visitors to the island. For the waterfall, access is easy, walkable. I get all your wisdom, my girl, and all your knowledge, uh, and all your experience, Grenadian from Grenville, that's your wish. Uh, you never let down your country, you promote it all day. I endorse you, what's your name, say it louder, I want to hear it right here. Greetings, my dear lady, I love your awesome face. You're pure Grenadian born, but celebrity all in place. Uh, America greet you and Grenada loves you too with all that wonderful personality God surely loves you a Grenadian girl doing it all out there I endorse you Miss Grenada and America with care one love everybody one heart let's get together and Alright, well, let's sing the song for them. Alright, you are in the island, sing it with me. In the island, well to me by my father's end. All my days I would sing and pray for the forest waters and shine inside. Oh, island. <laughs> this is my home! How could you not love it? How could you not love it? Yeah. You have to love it. Everything. Everything. There's beauty everywhere in Grenada. It's just unbelievable. I feel energized. 
guys. I feel, I, I feel cleansed. You know, like water has always been really important to me. And every decision I've ever made, every big decision I've ever made, I've come home to Grenada and sat by some kind of body of water, either the beach or a visit a fall or usually just in the river behind my aunt's house in Oregon. But this fall, I remember bringing my daughter here and she was so brave and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, you can jump. <laughs> Jump from up there? Yes, and she did it. Now I, I couldn't uh -huh. look at her. I couldn't look at her, so I only saw it on video. Uh huh. But, um, I mean, look at that. Yeah. How could Definitely. you not believe in God? Like, of course, of course. It's beautiful. Do you want to well, get low? I have no swimsuit on, but I'm going in. You're going lower. So I'm going in. You, you have to. I'm going in. I'm going you have in. to. Nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints, and that might just seem like just an ordinary little sign. But first of all, it's spoken the way a Grenadian mother will tell you, right? Don't do this, don't do this. But I think what it really means is that we really believe in the land, and we really want to protect the land. So don't don't remove our plants, don't remove that stuff. Just sort of have the experience and live in. The Something for everyone. Something for everyone. Oh, yeah. That's the slogan. Something for everyone. Yeah. Something for everyone. Something for everyone. GTA, it is right not wrong. You're amazing. God bless you. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Flo. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Cayenne. from basically from Indonesia. I didn't even know we had that here. Yeah, we only have eight on the island in total. Gorgeous. So they're protected. As well, you've seen the lake. Crater Lake of the supports the salt side for water supply for the hotel belt. You see that up there as well. Grand Tang. So Tang basically means lake or pond. So the Grand means great pond or great lake, yeah? So it's one of our reservoirs of water supply. Okay, so basically this is known as our reservoir for our supply for water for the south of the island of Grenada, Karikupiti Martinique as well. Um, however, if we have droughts on the, in the Caribbean islands, we're able to supply water as well from this lake to other islands in the Caribbean as well. Um, it's a vast source have of you water. Have had to do that? We have had to do it, I think, if I recall very well, once in the time of 2013, we used a drought in the Caribbean island plate. We had a drought to be able to supply the Caribbean islands like the Vincent as well, some water source from here, as well as Caracol as well. Uh, by badge. Um, the trucks came in, filled it up, and took it off to the boats by badge. Um, also, this area, the water source comes from underground source. It's an underground crater. So there's no rivers coming here, it's underground fed. So the water source coming in here is actually underground fed to this lake. 
which is known as the Grandi Tang Crater Lake. Machu he was actually an uh, English king, his, uh, his two sons. That's why he didn't know of his two sons, Frederick and Machu. So tell us the story about this site. Like this. So basically, this is a historical point where no weapons were fired from here, of like a cannon was fired from here, and an anger. So it's called a Pactiform Fishing Fort. Mm -hmm. This is where the actual French came in and gone up on the British in 18, in a sense, in 1769. So they came across the same way we passed from the Vendom yeah. to the mountain over here at Monjulu and then gone out of the British down there. You see all of the evidence of it there written in the platform plaque at the top. Yeah. Let's go to the top. Okay. The the top side. It's also a reservoir oh, system for oh, the prison. Yeah, for the reservoir for the prison. Look at that. It's called Fort Frederick, Frederick. Huh? It's called Fort Frederick. <laughs> That's right. Welcome home. That's right. That's right. Hello, Hello ladies. Did you realize this will roughly go to place here? So not, not one angle of one of those forts, actually five from this fort and any anger. Towards the, the British. Yeah, so I'm a man of peace. Yeah. Oh, here are the buttercups. Yes, this is the buttercups. That's the buttercups. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. I love flowers and plants until I see a lizard. <laughs> you see, I love those? those types of uh, those those history That's type of shows. To people. Yeah, I like medieval uh, shows. I watch those on Netflix all the time. Yes. So, and they always talk about these passages through that's the castles right. and to the right. forts that's and right. stuff that's like right. that. Exactly. Come, come, you know, and it touches yeah, yeah, the fort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. right. Yeah. So, yeah. this fort has some of these tunnels. Some of those underground tunnels. Underground tunnels. Yeah. Nice. And they are linked to each fort or each fort in its fort. That's amazing. Access food and ammunition to the forts. Right. Back in that time of 1700. Yeah. But today, this has been closed off. Yeah. Wow. Water tour. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. You're very, yeah, very knowledgeable. Thank you very much. Um, but more than that, because you expect that from a tour, <laughs> that <laughs> knowledge, right? Wonderful. But you have a wonderful um, personality. Thank you. Great nice vibes. Um, and so we appreciate you. Being here. I appreciate you. Thank you. So, so, and I'm sure you guys agree with I just thought it was incredible, and you brought me to the places that I really needed to see again. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah. It's my pleasure, my dear. And you have and so much uh, knowledge of the history. Yeah, it's right. amazing. Oh, it's and you're, so tell the folks your name again. My name is Danny Alexander, representative, of course, Inside Tourism, mm -hmm. as well as Alexander Taxi and Tours. Okay. And he grows avocados. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. So, Inside Inside tourism. Inside tourism. Yes. That's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. So right here in Grenada, Spice right. Isle, we had a beautiful day. Thank you for Amazing. it. You're welcome. And uh, he promised us some avocados, so <laughs> we're putting it right we'll, we'll, here. Yeah. We will get that on the sure. record. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, right. you're welcome, my dear. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Punjabi. From our home to yours.
good. Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah, so, Miss nice Fiona. Fiona McIntyre. Fiona is the daughter of the owner of McIntyre oh, Brothers Limited. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 Right, right. So you know, we just we just wanted to uh, you know take the opportunity formally and to let uh, the entire Caribbean know that Grenadian hospitality runs deep. It's everywhere. Very deep. Yeah, and that um, and that it, it has a special place at McIntyre. Yes. Is that right? Grenada, we're known for being very friendly. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. And uh, so I, I was just telling you that. Um, we can't do anything by ourselves. My dad always tells me that we're here and we gotta find some way to work together. Definitely. Right? And, and we are we are steadfast, focused on raising up the Caribbean. That's it. Yeah. And to do that, we work together. And so we are grateful for the partnership. We're talking about the Caribbean. Thank you. Thank you. But we're talking about the Caribbean dream. That's the name of the show. Right. Um, I see you talk at Caribbean Horizons tour. Right? So it's a Caribbean dream. Heading to the Caribbean horizon. Yes. <laughs> oh, we saw it. We saw it again. That was good. That's good. That's good. Right. right. The two of us are together and we're working together. And of course, we're, we're doing this show that uh, you know promotes and spotlights the great work of one of, uh, of your favorite daughters of the soil, Ben Marshall. Wonderful. Yeah. Like some of that. I like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you've been supportive in that. And uh, you know, with the tour and, and the car rental, and we did a, we actually uh, visited. I think you would have known. Yeah, been. I was not in office at the time. I was in office. Handled it. Yeah. He was great. He handled it. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. He handled it. And he's a great guy. He didn't guy. leave with the car, but it's okay. <laughs> right. As yes. I can, I drive away. With, I drive away with the car. They're my favorite. I, that's all I wanted to get in here. They're like my favorite. Arita, what is? You know, I uh -huh. come to you every single time. So I it's better than it better than in Trinidad. What's this? Mm -hmm. Frederick, how it tastes? Then it's so good. Much. It's good. A little Grenada doubles, man. Yeah, <laughs> right on Wall Street. Oh well, that's all right. Trini, Trini Grenada and doubles. Trini you know we got one. Huh? That's the stuff. All right, gang, in the bus. Yes. Because 
just because I knew her. I didn't really know the impact of it or what it really meant because it's essentially she pays attention to the Caribbean film industry. So I was like, I'm not kind of, you know, I've done a few uh, publicity jobs for movies, but I'm not really a movie publicist. But um, she saw it fit to honor me, but I never remember having the conversation with her about who I wanted to present the award. So I was like, literally five minutes before, I was like, oh, I wonder who's going to present the award. And then I saw this glamorous, like <laughs> regal woman go up there and take the stage. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> and um, I'm just so grateful because you really were the leader of that contingent of uh, Grenadians that uh, came to make the presentation. And I've, I've kept your speech in my phone for all these years. And oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Well, wow. I mean, it's, nice. but, I mean you will learn that I don't throw away things that are important. <laughs> Everything matters, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but I have just, I just looked up to you from that second, how um, I just felt cradled and loved by you. Oh dear, thank you so much. <laughs> I do, I do. When was that, Tina? Uh, 20... 15? 2015. 2015. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. And, um, In California. Yeah, yeah, 2015, because it was definitely before my mother passed. And um, I don't know, it was just, just, it was just, it was just a real um, humbling experience for me because uh, they say don't meet your heroes because you're going to be disappointed and I'm so glad I met my hero because I'm so not disappointed. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but you just took such an interest in me and what I've done, um, you know, and I, I apologize to you because you were the first to give me these papers and she's like, you could be, you could become an ambassador, fill out those papers, get your Grenada passport and all these years later, I haven't done it. I know, I know, I know, but I am going to do it. I am going to get my passport. I am. You haven't? Yeah, but I just wanted to just thank you. Thank you for taking an interest in me, but thank you for all the work, the hard work you have done uh, for this beautiful island, representing this island both in culture and tourism. Yes. Well, thank you so much. But you know, I don't see it as hard work because I enjoy doing what I do. Yes. It becomes hard work for me when you don't enjoy what you're doing. It's true. So it happens, it's there. As you know, right now I'm not the minister in culture or whatever, but I do whatever I can to really continue to promote Grenada and, and uh, as best as I can to work with people in the community. Because I always say the knowledge that you have, you have to leave it behind. You can Absolutely. take it with you. Absolutely. So I hope that you know people are looking, they're learning from me because I've been around for a long time oh, they are. in this country. How long? I came back here since 1998, wow. and I was elected to the as a parliamentary representative for the town of St. George in 1999. Wow. And I did that for five years, and then the other election I didn't win my seat. However, I continued as a senator yeah. for all those time until, uh, is it 19, uh, maybe a few years ago? Yeah, yeah. Either 93 or 95, yeah. I think. I yeah, think it's yeah. 95. Yeah. And so it has been a while, you know, and I felt, I felt when I came back to Grenada in 1992. From Canada. From Canada, yeah. because I lived Canada. there for many years mm -hmm. and made my contribution there too. But I felt, you know, I owe it to Grenada, to my roots, to my family, you know, to come back and give back to my country, which I love so much. Well, I, I will say, amazing. I'll take this moment now to say um, that we are, we are trying to discover what makes the Caribbean dream happen. Mm -hmm. The name of the show is Caribbean Dream, and we are tracking the success of of individuals that were born in the Caribbean, migrated to the United States, became super successful, and again, very importantly, returned home and gave back. Mm -hmm. And what makes that type of person? Okay. Because we need more of that. We need to inspire our children, our youth to become that. The more we do that, yeah. is of course, the, 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 the better it is for our region, yes. for our countries mm -hmm. in the region. Yes. And of course, if it embodies that, and you clearly are one of the elements, and it seems to me a very significant element in her Caribbean dream. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on behalf of myself as the 
the owner of this network and, and sort of the great child of, of bringing forth this Caribbean dream, I say thank you for supporting thank you. that Caribbean dream. Uh, yeah, but I must <laughs> yes, say also thank you for bringing Temple back to Grenada. Because yes. I know you've always been the always part here. we have had the yes. discussions in, over the years. Indeed. And uh, so being back is an extraordinary feeling, being back with Yvette is an even more extraordinary feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so this journey is amazing. And um, you know, I just really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for, and I know you are part of, of assisting in, in, in bringing us back a major part as well. And um, so I thank you for that. Well, it's a and pleasure having you, and it's so, so much of a pleasure. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Netherlands Insurance, a policy to do more. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to our home. This is the grand dam of the house. <laughs> Nikoyan, a pleasure, a pleasure. And I'm I don't know if you saw the, I don't know, they may not remember, but the David, who I was at the end of last night, is their oh. son. Yes, he's yeah. upstairs actually, yeah, him and Medi and Islam. Oh, good. Yeah, so they enjoy good. us today. Awesome. And we have good food oh, waiting. Wait. Oil so down, oil down. I cannot <laughs> wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> Get comfortable. I love this house so much. And we have spices. And you have spices. We have juve chocolate. Oh, juve chocolate yes, we too. Have cinnamon. You can't handle it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grenada produces about 10 spices, including nutmeg and mace oh. and bay leaf and cinnamon and <laughs> vanilla and sapot and all of that stuff. So we have gifts to share. Sapodilla leaves. No, these Which are one? the bay leaves. The bay leaves. Yes. Okay. So everyone, it's enough for everyone and to for take when they're oh, yes. Very good. Yes, oh, yes, my yes. Gosh. <laughs> so, so we've converted our home into a, a kind of restaurant. But it's not a restaurant that you become an order from a menu. It's a restaurant that you have to organize what you want to cook. <laughs> <laughs> so when Essence was here, we actually cooked. Yes. But this time we have it already cooked yes. because they gave us a, a window that was right. kind of tight. Right. However, we, we, we try to ensure that when our visitors come, they get a chance to cook for themselves. So when they travel and they go back, they can say, look, let me try something. Because cooking is a lot easier than people think. So is it? It is. <laughs> is it? Is it that the preparation is the hard part? Is no, it? no. Once it's what? love. Ah, yeah. Once you put love into stuff. what you're doing, yeah. it must come out good. Oh, you know. It's so exciting. <laughs> it's so, exciting. so we unpack the pot. No, before we unpack the pot, there's another specialty that we have in Grenada. Yes. But it's very from Pity Martin. Mm. It's a fish product. Some people don't like shark. And is it shark? So, so, so in Trinidad, shark and beak is a big thing, right? Yeah. However, we make this and we call it fire and Yeah. It's 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 a it's a French word meaning farine shark. 
So, like far in, like the like the how, how grain, but, but just in terms of how the it texture. Looks, the texture. Got it. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay, okay. So before we go into the oven now, and and of course I made at eleven o'clock. As you all were supposed to be, it was just coming out of the yeah. oven. It was coming out of the oven at 11 o'clock. So, it would have been um, hot when you got it. Oh, it's all good. Mickey, can I get it? With the tissues. Oh no, we don't need tissues. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't have a pack of tissues so around to we make, don't need tissues. It'll make, it'll make life a little easier. Oh, how is this made? Yep, what I got. Mm. Okay, so I'm, I know there's curry. Uh huh. Turmeric. Turmeric. Okay. No, uh, I, I, I blend my seasoning so the side, thyme, um, side. And how is the fish cooked? It's so like I, baked. No, what I do, I um, mm. you, you you boil the shark. Wow, this is good. And some seasoning. Oh, this is so good. And um, and then you flake it, and then you you do the, the cameraman. I feel sorry for all of you. Thank you. Yum yum. That's yeah, mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. So so you do the, the seasonings, and you, you put the curry and the turmeric, um, of course pepper sauce. Yeah. And then you cook it down a bit, and then you put the flaked. Shark, and then you can use any fish. You can use anything, um, but shark is just. But you have to bake it dry, so no, so, so you can so, it. No, when you boil the shark mm. and then with seasoned water, you squeeze it out and you flake it. Ah. And you put it aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good. So, is this one the vegetarian one? Yes. While a lot of people feel that the oil must have a set of meat, the reality is you put what you want in it. The fact that it has breadfruit, it's done with callaloo in the coconut milk with the curry and turmeric, you know, from there you can. So a lot of people don't put as much veggies, but I, I like to put a lot of veggies in, in my oil because especially in these days of eaten in a very health conscious exactly. way, you, you, you have a lot of veggies. So as you realize, it's on the top, so it steams more than cooked a lot of the coconut milk. So even though it has a flavor, it has a lot less calories than if it's at the bottom with the... With the oils of the coconut right. milk. So again, you can put string beans, you can put um, crystophene, any, any sort of vegetables you want. You know, what was uh, the uh, first one you want, Pat? What was the first that was okra. So okra and then carrots and now pumpkin. pumpkin. And so, so you know, the national colors is, is red, gold, and green. And that's what I've so, seen right so there. It's like a flag a, right there. Yeah, you have the flag of, of Grenada right there. And the so only the reason to eat flour. It's dumpling. Dumpling. <laughs> dumpling. Now, now, the thing is, um, the, the, the flour, the dumplings are. are not made as hard and big like so. And when you, you, you get in an oil lump cooked on the firewood in the village, they make the dumpling about three times as big. Yes. You know, they, 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 they would really have some huge dumplings, but um, I made them a little more manageable. Petite, you know? <laughs> Just below the, the dumplings, so you see the dumplings get a lot of the flavor yes. from, from the saltfish, which is. So, Week already. <laughs> so, so in this pot, we did the salt fish. So, now, so, so you have a lots of salt fish cooked up in the middle of it. You know, Chef, you are the first person I, I've ever seen on packed pot. Ah, mm -hmm. because you see, when you go to a restaurant and you order, you get it in a plate in front of yeah, you. Yeah, so because no, I've never seen your packing done. Yeah, and, 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 and this is this is just making sure that when you're serving it, you can serve it in a in an equitable manner. Yeah. Wow. Food is the center of the family. Of course. Yes. And of course, the bread food is the, the star of the show. The star of the show. Yay. Now look, look at this. See, this is the oh, that's the, that's so the this is the kalaloo now. That's the good stuff. 
that's the sauce. Oh, that's the sauce. So okay. when you take out things, you put the sauce yes. on top of it and it kusume. <laughs> Alright. So this is the, the, the saltfish pot. Yes. So we're gonna unpack the other part. Yes. Oh my gosh. So this is for the meat lovers. Meat lovers. <laughs> but again, it has the same. But it has the same vegetables at the top, right? Right. How long did the process take? How long you been ah. cooking? The preparation takes more than the actual cooking time. Yeah. The cooking time is half an hour, forty-five minutes. Yeah. But the preparation, peeling of the bread, of through, the cutting up of the, you know, yeah. uh, so I started. Yeah. Uh, seven did your Did your queen help? She always helps. She's a sous chef. Sous chef. <laughs> Chopping, and, and, <laughs> cleaning. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she she makes sure that they keep, keep the kitchen clean yeah. because um, yeah. sometimes when I'm you have moving, to clean as you go. When I'm moving, stuff everywhere. No, when he's when he's cooking with love and passion, stuff is everywhere. That's right. So I am <laughs> so to say I have behind him tidying yes, up all the time. Back place. Chop chop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the pure Grenada brand, yes, and yes. this is huh. quite obviously the perfect segue. We did this Why before. Did we did this before. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Oh, this is not up, this up, one is one. different. So Patricia and Curl and Georgia and the other members of the Grenada Tourism Authority team, they said Yvette is coming by you today. Now you know you gave event one already, but this Thank one is even this more house. special. This this it one is it's this Grenada. one says Grenada Tourism Ambassador, and we can't honestly think of anyone more fitting who should receive this because oh you do gosh. so much for Grenada. This is right where I was pinned. Karyaku and Pity Mart me. All right. <laughs> I'm so proud. I brought the other one. Yes. I brought the other one and I knew there was a conversation that you would change it. That's to right. Say Grenada. That's right. Because the other one was mostly for children and exactly. they didn't live here. They didn't have to say Grenada, but I have to say it to the world. That's Grenada. right. That's right. Because you shine for Grenada. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, so you see now this is the sauce in the yeah, water. The meat, yeah. right. the meat, the meat, the meat. However, you need to come and look at that part. The meat. And the thing is, I, I don't cut it up a little. Meat little. And look how and the air cut up a little, little, little. Oh, yeah, so that, you know, when you get a piece of meat, you get a. Oh, thank you. Because, yes. you know, you're very, very special. This is what we did. You 
That is the truth. That is the truth. I mean, we are. And we met Shua Adam, eh? In church. Oh, Shua Adam. Oh, the thing is, her sister Curl comes right. to church with us. Uh -huh. So she came to church one day and they introduced her as Curl sister. Right. And okay, okay, it's Curl sister. No <laughs> name, just Curl sister. And after, after right. church, she stand up in her corner there and Curl greeting. So I go on a chat to her and say, hi, how are you doing? Nice meeting you, ting, ting, ting. Right. She said, yes. Yeah. She said, but I'll leave in Thursday. She said, but the only thing I didn't do. Is to get oh, oil yeah. So I said, well, you know, okay, I can arrange with Cole and do oil love. And then my wife told me, she said, well, who is that? Uh, I said, Cole's yeah. sister. She said, no, 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 it's right. Cole's sister. Right, right. Let me I tell said, you who that is. Okay, I said, well, yeah, they got the friends. That's, that's, right. that's, right. that's right. That's right. And she came here, and the priest decided to come in. Okay. So we had a nice little gathering, and yeah. you know, and, and so every time you come, I'm a personal chef now. Awesome, you know? awesome. So she just have to well, say, listen. I come in. And I did. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'll find the bread food anyway. <laughs> yes, right. yes, yes. I love it. Well, well tell us. Well, let me stop for a moment and just say that. Oh, you think of Oh, oh yes, yes. Excellent. Oh, that's nice. nice. That's, you know? That's real nice. That's yeah, real nice. Really well, let's... Um, Tell us a little bit about what you got going on here. Uh, let's say they did it already. They did no, it already? No, they well, did it, but I think they should do it with you. Okay, right? and we unpack the pot because there were two pots. Okay. okay. Now, Eva eats fish, and even though they tell me, do one pot, she's going to take the saltfish on the top. Right. right. And a separate pot with okay. the saltfish. Right. And one with the pig tail and the chicken. And nice, so nice, nice, nice. So we unpack the pot. Are we going to put a little piece of the saltfish one in here too? No. No, no, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> And um, I will say this, that um, I've been letting everybody know that um, we are exploring what made Yvette's Caribbean dream possible. Correct? Correct. Right. And um, what a dream. Okay, from the little village in Grenada to celebrity publicist to one of the most iconic stars in the world and many others, right? And um, that didn't just happen. You know, there's people that influence her, there's people that she calls her friends and family that support her. And um, we want to figure out that formula to make that make Caribbean dreams a reality. But you look like you want it. But, but one of the things is, no matter what she has done internationally, yeah. she is grounded at home. Well, see? See? You know? so, see so when she come home, yes. she want her local stuff, right. she want no Chips and American. Right, you want this, 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 right? Here. You and she wants this. a home environment. Yeah, that's so right, that's right. right. So, and so, yeah, go ahead. And so her friends are, are friends not just because she's a publicist and she's the because and she's Jason, she's Yvette. That and this and, and that. And I call her sister Ella and Tim. So it's not, right. not just, it's not just Beyonce's publicist. That's right. right. It's Ella and Tim. That's right. You know, and, that's right. And, and I knew her since she yes. won. Look at that. Okay, she's almost the height of she has she right now. And that's something. Well, well, listen, Good continue. Morning. Continue doing what you're doing. Love, brother. Thank Good you. Blessings every time. Wow. Caribbean dream. All the time. <laughs> right. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Victory Bar and Restaurant. This episode of Caribbean Dream is brought to you by Silver Sands Grenada. Well, Narelle, this is unbelievably beautiful. Just like you. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Um, as everything at Silver Sands is, it's impeccably done, um, and uh, we want to thank you for it. It's been like amazing to be here. Um, Silver Sands definitely got Temple, and Temple got Silver Sands. So tell us a little bit about the spread as we are, you know, sort of wrapping our production. You know, you you, you did this wonderful thing for us. 
So what we tried to focus on tonight was um, for both of our restaurants, actually, we like to have a little flavor of Grenada in everything oh, that we do because that's who we are and we need to celebrate all the wonderful things about this, um, our island home, okay. my island home, not yours. But uh, hey, 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 and, hey, 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 um, hey, hey, But also, too, because a lot of you are into fitness and health and everybody's into fish and and light eating and I've tried to stay away from the carbs. Don't look at the carbohydrates. Oh, oh it's not here anyway, so right. I can't look at those. Um, yeah, so it's just a little something to say thank you for spending the last few days with us. It's been an absolute pleasure. We've loved having all of you here and um, it's an absolute delight to be part of um, something that's all about Grenada. It's such a, you know, we, we say it's worth the journey. It's the you know, it's the last hidden gem of the Caribbean, and, and I truly believe that, having been here for a few months now. So I hope you enjoy, and um, great job, everybody. Amazing work. Uh, and um, sorry the, the weather didn't work out every no, day, no, no, us, no, but no. I think we still got some great stuff. Yeah. Listen, even when it rains in Grenada, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Am I correct? Go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so thank you very much, um, and uh, yeah, thank you to your fine staff as well. You know, uh, I think that um, you expect uh, a certain level of quality from a high-end facility and resort. Um, what you don't typically get, though, is a feeling like you're home, and I think that that's a special ingredient that's so Thank you. So, I think that. The, the, the team, uh, for me, it's heartfelt service, you know what I mean? I think when you, when you uh, and I hope that you've all experienced that in the last few days, that, that they genuinely mean it when they say, can I help you, what can I do, what do you need? Right. They really mean it, it's, it's from the heart, and I think that's a, a, a tribute to, um, to the country, more so than to us, because we've only been here a little time, so mm -hmm. delighted, yeah. Absolutely, great. and as if you had said, yeah. The, the main ingredient in, in Grenada hospitality is its people. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Right, right. So, so my people. Your people. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> exactly. So, if you want to say a few words or uh, tell uh, us. I, I mean, I'm grateful. My heart is, uh, it's beyond full. It's uh, running over. Um, I am so delighted that everything I can find, everything I can want, is found right here in this little island that I love so dearly and for so long. Um, Silver so Sands quickly has become a place of joy for me. This is my fourth visit now. Um, I don't know uh, a better place. Um, anywhere in the world, and I, I think I could speak very honestly and with a lot of experience because I must have stayed in over 2,000 properties around the world, and uh, this is by far the best, and it's, it's made even better because so many of the people here look like me and sound like me, and um, I'm not treated like a uh, who are you kind of thing. Um, not to put a dampen on things, but a black woman traveling around the world in five star hotels and is often questioned um, how could you be successful? Where do you come from? Why are you here? Uh, it's so nice to walk into a place and it's a welcome home, and it's really welcome home. Um, I want to be grateful to Tech Boat. Because uh, the, the, the visits before were just beautiful, but this visit with Tempo just <laughs> took the tempo up. <laughs> like, really took it to another level. So, I just want to thank uh, Frederick and his entire team and um, I want to say thank you to the genius that is uh, Bahari, uh, your heart and your soul 
and your genius mind and your way to stay calm, even in very difficult circumstances. Uh, a, those are the true characters of a leader. I've said it to you many, many times. I've said it to you that I'm really looking forward to staying healthy and alive so I can be your press secretary. <laughs> I'm the Prime Minister of this incredible island that I love so much. And then, you know, finally to this amazing woman right there behind the camera. <laughs> so much. Um, we had an incredible conversation the last time I was here, and we are kindred spirits on so many levels, not just because we're publicists, but some deep, deep things that we've both experienced as women, and uh, I think I'm going to be connected to her for a very, very long time. Um, I'm looking forward to coming back here. Um, so, uh, thank you. You have been incredible. Um, whoever made the choice that you would be here uh, is beyond uh, innovative, and uh, you're love for this place is uh, endearing and warms my heart. Um, anybody who loves my island the way I love my island warms my heart. So I thank you. I thank you for everything. My room was spectacular. The service spectacular. Every single person I've encountered. This is the first and only place I've been anywhere in the world where I know people's names. I usually know people's faces, I don't think I have faces, but I know people's names here, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal. So I'm grateful. Thank you very much. Awesome. 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 What I would say is the true essence of a Spice woman. I get in goosebumps, but um, I want my daughter to see this because I want her to see that you see passion um, and just being grounded and rooted in who we really are. I mean, these are the real ingredients, you know, of becoming successful and not just successful, but influential. From looking at this, I, I, you know, I think that you represented your where you're coming from very well, 101%. Mm. You know, a lot of persons when they go away, it's like they, you know, they turn foreigners, they forget about the country, they don't know, remember a lot of things. And, um, it's like your marketing grenade there. But as not as put in Grenada worldwide, but and she had fall and get back up. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a great mm -hmm. show you that once you fall, have feet, you always get back up. The main thing that's here to me is family. She means everything for me. You can attest to that. I yeah, appreciated those moments. Mm -hmm. And in every corner of your house. In every corner. You've <laughs> got a closet. You've got yeah. family. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. photographs of. But what, what stood out to me, the, 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 um, the quote that stood out to me, what you said, our right. home comes together from your experiences. Right. I love that. It's true. I love that. What stood out to me mostly was um, when you said the greatness of seeing people like yourself like me, that speak like us, and how it made you feel. And I think that's very important for, um, for us, for Caribbean people, for black people in general. It never gets old. Every time you watch it, you take away a different element. And it can be the same thing repeated, but thought of in a different context. Mm -hmm. I remember watching, and I told Frederick, I said, this is the, 
Caribbean dream.